LED in wound healing, it's a really useful thing to have in a skin cancer or dermatology practice. We don't um, do much in our skin cancer practice without using LED in fact. So if a patient is concerned about the scarring on their face after an excision or a biopsy or particularly when it comes to utilising a flap or graft for the repair, it would be really quite wise to advise LED um, in conjunction with the surgery. So if you have a patient who fits that category, talk to them about infrared LED. The 830 nanometer light is utilised in this setting, so it is um, something that will encourage the body's natural healing process. Um, it improves the wound healing cascade so that it um, fast tracks the healing process and minimises scarring. So if a patient has those concerns, we would advise them to have LED therapy perhaps 48 hours before the surgery on the day of the surgery, so immediately as soon as you've taken the lesion out and the wound has been sutured, put them straight under the LED for about 13 minutes if it's an 830 nanometer, and then coming back perhaps in a week's time at the time the sutures are to be removed for further LED. And the results are quite spectacular in terms of the improvement in the scar. It can also be utilised in circumstances such as the lower leg where you know that the wound healing is going to take a lot longer. So if you're doing a halo graft on the lower leg or a big flap, an LED light uh, prior to surgery at the time of surgery and the week after the surgery is really going to enhance the healing process. We have seen countless times halo grafts that would normally take up to six weeks to heal, only taking two weeks when used in conjunction with an infrared light.